Plastic bags are one of the most used items in the world. It is estimated about 2 million plastic bags are used every minute worldwide. However, experts say these bags cause more harm than good to the environment, and laws must be made to curb their use. At first glance, they may seem harmless, but plastic bags have become a great danger to the environment. So dangerous that recently, Kenya imposed one of the world's toughest laws against plastic bags. Kenya's new law states that anyone found selling, manufacturing or carrying plastic bags could face fines of up to $38,000 or prison sentences of up to four years. I, I think it's long overdue, so I'm in total support of it. But the only challenge I have with it is um, I expected that um, some incentives should have been put in place. It shouldn't have been so instant. What I mean by that is then there should have been a time to work on, you know, um, elements like creating awareness, let people know um, the need to actually um, stop using plastic bags and also give um, manufacturers time to start thinking of other alternatives. What about the jobs that will be lost? What about the economic impact on, 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 on a poor you know, economy like um, Kenya? In Nigeria, it is estimated that about 50 billion plastic bags are used annually. Due to their low cost production, plastic bags are produced in large quantities and used for so many things, ranging from shopping to food packaging and waste disposal. But when disposed improperly, as often is the case, plastic bags cause pollution, they lead to terrestrial and aquatic environments, clog drains, and often cause flooding. Because of the convenience that it brings, it's easy to use, it's quite durable. So our lives are roped around plastics and all that. But unfortunately, when it gets to the um, end of use for us, it's not something that biodegrades. It doesn't break down in the soil. So it remains in the soil for hundreds of years. And even, unfortunately, even when burnt, it, they produce you know, toxic uh, you know, fumes into the atmosphere. So they are good to use. But when not properly managed, it becomes nuisance to the environment. It becomes nuisance even to the to our food chain, um, to our water system. It becomes nuisance even to the sea animals. These negative effects have pushed more than 40 countries to ban or tax single-use plastic bags to curb plastic pollution. Lagos, the largest city on the African continent, is suffering from such pollution. Despite attempts by the government to check the use and disposal of these items, plastic liters seem to be on the rise. The goal is actually to, for government to encourage waste minimization, reduce the waste generated in the first place. I believe there's this uh, carrot approach that's creating awareness, giving people incentives. And also, there's also the stick approach. And that is enforcing, making sure that um, people actually pay for Every, whatever needs they do with their waste. We should be responsible with our waste. But unfortunately, even our waste um, structure is such that, such that it is fragmented. It's not, um, sometimes it's not even functional. There are, there are other um, shopping materials, like made from clothes, some are from jute materials. They are reusable. They can even be washed, They're just like clothes. And that's what we're encouraging. In the past 10 years, African countries, including Botswana, Cameroon, Morocco, and Rwanda, enforced complete and partial ban on the use of plastic bags. Nigeria in 2013 also made a move to place a ban on plastic bags. However, that plan never saw the light of day. With the dangers plastic bags come with, it is only expected Nigeria, Africa's biggest economy and most populous nation, follows their footsteps to save the environment.